what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing good, keeping busy during the COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, so today I was in the market for a new gun case and I looked online, looked at the big box stores and whatnot and the cheapest thing I could come up with was Walmart. So I went there and first off they stopped selling the hard plastic Plano gun cases there. So. I looked at the fabric ones naturally. Now this one's the universal gun case fits rifles and shot shotguns and up to 50 inches long. And then they have another option there, which is basically the same case, except it's made for air rifles. And the only difference that I could really see in it was that it didn't have this little pouch for storing ammo and magazines and whatnot. Oh, and the other difference was it has two straps like this, but it doesn't have the Velcro that attaches the two straps together. And that was really the only difference I could see. And personally, I think this works just fine. It's obviously not as secure as a plastic case, but you can lock it up with a padlock. So now whether you got a padlock or you got a little mini lock like this, this little clip on the end here, you just take the padlock, slide it through the zipper, and then lock it. And then that keeps them from being able to open it via the zipper. Now, I mean, there's nothing stopping somebody if they really want to get into it, just cutting the fabric. But, I mean, it's at least one layer of protection, so that's better than nothing, in my opinion. And for $15 for this, that's considerably cheaper than a lot of the others are. And so here's the box that it came in. Let me zoom in out on that. Universal gun case. Fits scoped or non-scoped guns up to 50 inches. Padded for extra protection. Rugged indoor exterior. And that's about it. And the other soft case that they had was also by Allen, the one that was for the air rifle. And that was $9.99. This was $14.99. So, I mean, just losing this pouch here and then not having this Velcro to hold the two straps together will save you $5. So I guess it's up to you whether you $5 is worth 
some ammo storage. So like, let's see, I got 100 rounds of 7.62 right there. I've got another 20 rounds of 7.62. And another 20 rounds of 7.62. And that was with room to spare. And I've also, I was able to get, I think, three 7.62 by 39 mags in there. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see the space on the inside of it. Okay, so as you saw before, I got all this ammo in that little side pocket there. Now let me unlock this padlock. Not only is that to keep your stuff safe in a lot of states, it's illegal to transport your firearm in a bag like this without a lock on it, so just a heads up. Check with the local state laws and see what that's all about. Okay, so inside I have my AK-47 and three 762 by 39 mags, which I believe with the rifle I was able to easily get all three of these mags in this side pocket. Yeah, and I could possibly get three more magazines with a total of six. So that right there shows you how good that is. And look, there's room to spare. This AK has a 16 inch barrel on it. So, I mean, there's room to spare. Like it says, 50 inches overall, you could get considerably long rifle in there as well as a long shotgun and yeah it's got nice padding here I actually took it out on a hike last night into the wet woods to try to find a hiking spot which or a shooting spot which I was unsuccessful at finding and I got all kinds of water and dirt on it as you can tell it's not super clean and none of the water made it inside got on anything, everything was bone dry, so for $15, I think it's a great deal, and my main selling point on this was the plastic hard cases, they take up so much more room. If you have this fabric case like this, because I my, hike, my shooting spot is probably half a mile to a, three quarters of a mile away from where I park, so I use a cart to pack everything in. Not only am I packing in multiple rifles, a shotgun, a couple handguns, and hundreds of rounds of ammo, but I'm also packing in four 2x4s, AR-500 steel targets, and the stand for it, So and my tripod, and chair, and all kinds of stuff, so it adds up. So having this and being able to get more guns in the cart and less that I have to carry by hand is really convenient and definitely worth it and just for that fact I would choose a fabric case now I do live in Washington and it rains quite a bit so if it's gonna be a wet rainy day I will bring my plastic case although water still will get in those and actually if I had to I could bring my tarp and just throw it over all my stuff so that keeps it dry as well so I just wanted to show you guys this nice buy at Walmart. I got it at my local Walmart for $14.99. And check it out. Thanks for watching my video, guys. And don't forget to give me a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for your support. And I'll have quite a few videos coming soon, mostly focusing on my AK-47. So stay tuned, and I'll have new uploads at least once a week for the next three, four, possibly five weeks. So uh, have a good night, stay safe, stay healthy, watch out for that COVID-19, and have a good night, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one.